Hey everyone, it's Marty Harker and welcome to Essential Yoga with Marty Harker. I wanted to speak with you today about breathing freely and I've got some ideas for you as we head into this season of the year where we have a couple things happening. One, when we're practicing yoga, a lot of us are going inside and if you're practicing in a studio environment, you might be asked to practice yoga wearing one of these. So I wanted to talk with you today about some of the ideas that could work really well to help you breathe more freely during your yoga practice and during this time in our lives in 2020, how we can take a deeper breath and start to take in what's happening and not just take it in and hold it, but take it in and process it. Because I feel that um, one of the challenges we have is we can fill up the cup over and over and over and over and over and over and then all of a sudden, boom, right? It's overflowing. So we need to really think about how we can use some of the wonderful natural tools with the essential oils that could be beneficial for us as a practitioner, if you're an instructor, a studio owner, what are some of the tools that will help you bring more peace and calm, but quite frankly, a deeper breath and be able to breathe and take in all that is happening right now. So a couple things, there's some simple and easy tools behind a mask. One of them would be the breathe throat lozenges that doTERRA has. These are really a great tool. You pop one in your mouth at the start of practice. You might put another one at the end of the mat un, un, uh, open it up partway through. And this is a combination of peppermint, eucalyptus, lemon, and cardamom. So it makes a nice um, moisturizing um, activity on your throat. Just make sure you don't choke on it. <laughs> but I think that the breathe throat lozenges is one simple way to go. The other way that I think is another pre-ready-made tool that you can use is the Breathe Vapor Stick. And this is like in an olive oil base. You can rub it on your chest and rub it in. It's going to help you breathe more freely. But what I really want to talk with you today about is a blend that you can make, and you can use it in a couple of different ways. You could make a roll-on, like this little roller bottle, or you could make a spray with it that you could mist into your face mask before you practice. Now, a couple of tips we've got on face masks. One is if you live in a climate where there's more humidity, you might want to spray one spray on the outside. If you live in a dry climate like I do, you might want to spray inside the mask. You just want to be careful that you don't overdo it on the spray right next to the face. Why? Because um, it's really strong. The essential oils are very powerful, and we want to make sure that we are incorporating some that are going to be beneficial. Now the blend I'm going to talk with you about, I'm going to calling Breathe Free. And it's something that I learned about from another doTERRA friend years ago. And I think it's a great combination. I love it. And I particularly love it because I live in a climate that unfortunately is having wildfires right now. I live in Utah. And I am sending my deepest prayers to all of our friends in California and Oregon and Washington and anywhere where the, the world is on fire. Um, this is a just a horrific time to see what's happening to people. So being able to breathe freely, even if you're not practicing yoga, maybe you're just sitting in your own home and you want ideas to use to breathe more deeply. Um, and by the way, some people are finding that wearing a mask even in their home with um, some of the essential oils in that can be very beneficial if you live in a very smoky environment that struggle uh, that you have some respiratory challenge with. So here's this blend, okay, breathe free. And there's a couple ways you can make it. You could do, as I say, in a little mini roller bottle, which I love. And with a roller bottle like that, you can just apply it to the chest. You can put a little bit on your hands. You can then rub your hands together, cup it around your nose. Oh, this is such a great combination. I can't wait to tell you what's in it. Um, but the spray is another idea. You know, you could mist it in the room. You could make a blend using perhaps even a, a, a used bottle of one of the ingredients, and you could drip into that and put it into your diffuser. So these are some great things. They actually enhance, in my opinion, the Breathe blend that doTERRA has. So we're going to start with 10 drops of Breathe, which is the oil of breath. This is an oil that as we open to life, we begin to trust and love what's going on around us. So that's really important this year because it's hard to trust, to know what to trust. But knowing that we can trust our own voice, our own truth is an important thing. So 10 drops of Breathe. The next oil we're going to use is Siberian Fir. And 10 drops of Siberian Fir, the oil of aging and perspective. This is something that is really helpful um, and suggested when we're entering a new life chapter. Pretty much all of us are doing that right now, right? We didn't know about this kind of a life a year ago. So having the Siberian fur, oh, it's 
such a beautiful tool. Um, again, 10 drops of Siberian fur in the blend is a great next uh, step. So we got 10 breathe and 10 Siberian fur. Now the next oil, we're gonna use five drops of cardamom. Cardamom is one of my favorite oils for respiratory support and cardamom is the oil of objectivity. Oh, it's so helpful right now where I live to have these oils. The uh, oil of cardamom is the oil of objectivity helps us to remain balanced, especially if we feel anger about something coming up. And probably you're, everybody's feeling that right now. So, so the cardamom is an excellent tool physically for helping support open respiratory breath and a great tool for emotional uh, well-being in terms of balancing and helping us get rid of uh, kind of cooling the fire of our personality. The fourth and final oil in this is cypress essential oil. Cypress is the oil of motion and flow. It helps us to stay flexible. It helps us to trust that what's happening is going to give us information for our highest good. Um, this is a year where we have to trust a lot of things, where we have to trust that things are going to be better. We have to have hope and trust for what's to come. So um, the 10 drops of breathe, the 10 drops of white fur, I'm sorry, Siberian fur, <laughs> the five drops of cardamom, whatever that is, and the five drops of cypress. And if you're putting that in a little roller bottle, you wanna add some fractionated coconut oil. But what you're gonna find with this is a combination, um, it's stronger, it's such a strong version of a respiratory opening. And I love that these different ways to breathe more freely um, are all things you can do to incorporate into mask wearing. Again, you can spray on the outside, spray on the inside, but when you're wearing a mask, you are protecting other people more than you're protecting yourself. Because you never know, right? We don't have a sign on us that says, like this does, <laughs> that says, you know, I've got something you don't want, right? So um, <laughs> being able to protect ourselves and being able to practice yoga in an environment that's safe and distant, but also to have tools to allow us to breathe more deeply is going to be very, be very beneficial. So I hope that these are some ideas that are helpful to you. Think about bringing the throat lozenges with you to yoga class. Think about the idea of the breathe roll on. It's a great tool. And to create this breathe free blend, the 10 drops of breathe, the 10 drops of Siberian fur, five cardamom and five of the cypress. And if you're doing the roller, fractionated coconut oil. I hope you'll enjoy uh, using this blend to really open up and take a deep breath Again, wishing all the best to all of my dear friends out there on the West Coast and just hoping that everything goes well. And for even those of us here in Utah, just hoping for a safe um, fall season and really hoping for rain. So wishing you all the best and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.